Hi everyone, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I have been away for a long time. This video is going to be a little bit different. I'll be telling you a little bit more about my my um, hobby channel. He has a channel going on. It's based on PS3 Exploit. This one is based on PS3 Exploit, the best gel breaking. <laughs> exploit ever out there for 2018 if you want to get your your ps3 jailbreak this is the method for you so do continue watching the video you will see um, the best way how to do it and also go over to his channel and check it out you also get some more tips and tricks and how to do a lot more stuff including xbox ps3 and i think he does do have ps4 included in there so go check out his channel i'll put it in the description below so for you to check it out also do remember please subscribe and like remember that all right later what's going on youtube it's your boy billy kibaki guys and today i'll be showing you guys how to jailbreak your ps3 slim using the new ps3 exploit method now guys i went ahead and prepared a mini web http server so and i'll be placing a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and get that as well now guys before i start i just want you guys to hit that like that subscribe and also hit that share button guys okay so let's begin the tutorial guys so first off guys this method unfortunately guys it does not support the super slim and it doesn't support the slim that starts from 3000 so if you have a fat model starting from a all the way down to Q then you're good and if you have a slim model starting from 2000 then you're good but the 3000 models and the super slim they are not supported as yet guys please keep in mind that this is version 1 of the tools so the developers are working on creating an update for the tool so it will be compatible with every version out there and also that they're developing a new method for like the super slim and maybe the 3000 model that that method will work just like the PS Vita the way how you create the Nkaku and you install the Nkaku on the web and all that over the over the original firmware well they are working on something like that so maybe the 3000 and the super slim maybe that's the one they're gonna get like an Nkaku style um, jailbreak but um, for this one now guys um, right here it says that you have to check your system first with the minbur check so what this does guys you put it on your USB stick and you set it up make it looks just like a uh, update like when you're updating your USB your PS3 from the USB stick you you rename the file just like the update file and if your P if it shows that your PS3 can go as low as 3.56 then you're good if it can go even lower then you're even better guys but if it shows that it only goes to 3.57 or 58 then you can't go ahead and do this it has to go as low as this or lower so right here you can go ahead guys and download the the up the min ver check and that will help you to check your ps3 version also guys going down they are going to include the download links for the the nor dump and also the nan and the nor writer so basically the NOR dump will you will dump the the NOR chip on your USB stick and have that as a backup just in case you go ahead and brick your system you will be able to use the the, the backup of your your NOR chip to do an unbrick so but basically you might need someone that has the E3 flasher or maybe the developers will create another tool that will help you to write back your no flashback your nor dump to the to the nor chip so right now they only have the nor dump and the nan and nor writer so you need both files just make a backup of your nor chip first if you're using a fat or if you're using a slim just go ahead and back up this first guys just in case you need to keep this safe just in case you have a brick you can get somebody to go inside and flash it back or maybe the developers will create a tool to do so 
so after getting these both tools guys you need to create you need to set up the HTTP server to get it running now over on my laptop because for some reason the the HTTP server won't work for me on my Windows 10 computer it works on my Windows 7 laptop so I'll go ahead and move over to the laptop and I'll walk you guys how to go ahead and do everything so let's go over to the laptop now guys okay guys so now we're on the laptop guys so I did went ahead and prepare um, three mini web folder for you guys so the first one is the NAN so if you have a fat ps3 and you're gonna write it write the hacks file to your NAN then you can go ahead and use this one but if you have a NOR like the slim which is the compatible one the 2000 model you go ahead and use this one to write the hacks file to your NOR chip and down here the third one you have the NOR dump so remember guys you have to use this one to make a backup of your NOR chip just in case anything goes wrong you can use it to um, unbreak your PS3 so down here guys is the the mini vert check file that we need to check the PS3 to see how far it can downgrade to so when you go ahead and download your the, the main vert check file you're gonna get it in you're gonna get it name as what it says so the main vert check file will download saying main vert check dot pub so after that you need to create a folder called ps3 hall cap then inside that folder you need to create another folder called update then inside that folder you're gonna put the main vert check dot pub but you're gonna rename it you're gonna rename it ps3 up dot pub and that's it guys so after you have done that you're gonna go ahead and put the ps3 folder on your USB stick so copy this one and then you're gonna go to your USB stick and you're gonna paste it and that's it guys make sure that the USB stick is FAT32 so now let's go over to the TV and the PS3 so let's remove the USB stick right here okay so let's remove that and guys remember that you need to put it in the right the right port that's the one that's closest to this side guys so let me just try because I'm using one hand so put it in this port not the left one put it in the right one okay so on the ps3 guys I'm gonna show you guys that I am running 4.82 and that's it 4.82 so let's go up to update guys no that's not it let's go all the way up so right here it says update so press X then go to update via storage media and that's what the version check should look like so go ahead and hit OK let it run and that's it guys update data of version 3.40 or later can be installed on this system so that means I am in the safe zone guys I am below 3.56 so I am in the safe zone so go ahead and back out and now what you need to do now guys you're going to put back the USB stick into your computer and you're going to delete that file you're going to delete the mini bird check that you just put on Let me postpone this. Okay. 
now let's delete this file okay now let's eject and now we're gonna place it back in the PS3 guys so let's go again and place it back in the PS3 make sure it's in the right port don't worry about this guys this I, I, I made this sticker long ago so don't worry about this same 4.81 so now guys what we need to do we're going to dump we're going to dump the the NOR backup we're going to dump so go to your go to the NOR dump and then make sure that you run this file as administrator okay let's give it a run it yes Okay, so there's the server guys so let's go ahead now let's go ahead now and move over back to the ps3 and go to the browser let's just wait okay that's gone so let's go to the ps3 go all the way over to the internet browser that's right there hit X now guys if you had went ahead and watch my how to dump the IDPS using the IDPS dumper you will know how to set up this part but let me go ahead and just show you so hit triangle guys go up to tools and what you need to do you need to delete cookies and search history and also delete cache but then you're gonna go to home page hit X and then you're gonna go down to use a blank page and then hit X again go down to OK I sorry go down to OK then hit X so every time you go in your browser you should have a blank page like this guys so right now hit start so you're gonna delete whatever is there and then you're gonna type the IP address that the mini that the dump mini web server gives you so I have a little bit of prediction in my history right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and change up a few numbers real quick okay so now hit start and there you go guys this is the website that we need this is the exploit we need to pop up so as you see down below it says dump full 16 megabyte nor to dev usb so you're gonna see it in your USB stick as dump. You're gonna see it in your USB stick as dump.x. And guys, remember, make sure that it's in the right port. So use your PS3 mouse, hover over it, and then hit X. The PS3 will beep and then shut down, guys. After that, your your dump will be on your USB stick okay guys so if you're if you're trying to make your backup of your NOR chip your your make the dump of your NOR chip and your PS3 haven't turned off or the the wave in the background has frozen so the next method I'm gonna show you the next method of how to back up your 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 NOR chip and also how to write to your NOR chip if this method doesn't work I'll show you how to do another method so go ahead and you can power off your PS3 so guys um after you have power off your PS3 wait till it turns off and then go ahead and then reboot your PS3 again so go ahead and reboot so on the computer now guys you can go ahead and turn the a turn the, the mini web server off 
okay so there goes my ps3 has now booted back up so let's go ahead and move over to the computer and show you the other method so just go over to your browser and this is the website guys they have created this website and this is the let's focus that's the URL link not sure if you guys can see it but that's the URL link so it will take you to this page guys so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back over to the PS3 now and I'm gonna go and select the internet browser so now that I'm on the internet browser guys go ahead and delete your history now after that guys go ahead and hit start after that you're gonna go and input so h t t Okay, so now you're done go ahead and hit start and now the page has popped up guys so hit triangle go down to bookmark and you're gonna add this book add it as a bookmark guys so there you go it's now added let's check again So press enter, go up and select the NOR dump to dump your, your NOR chip to make a backup, hit OK, OK again, OK, and it takes you back to the website guys that we were on before. So just hover over the dump full 16 megabyte NOR and then press X let's see if the Okay, so we finally got our our NOR dumped on the USB stick guys. So let's go ahead and remove it and let's go ahead and check it on the computer. perfect guys there is our dump axe so this is our nor chip backup so right now we're just gonna just create a folder on the desktop and we're gonna move it to the folder make sure you back it up very carefully
Okay. Okay. Let's cut this one. And that's it, guys. 16 megabyte. And that's it. So, what we're going to do next now, guys. Let's go ahead and turn the PS3 back on. And wait for that to boot up. So what we're going to do next, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the writer. And then inside the writer, guys, there goes the PS3. So inside... Hold on, guys. So inside the NOAA writer, you will get this file. So go ahead and copy this file to your USB stick. And that's it guys. So let's go ahead and remove our USB stick. Perfect. Now put it back in the PS3. Alright. So now guys, now we're going to go back over to the browser again. And now we're going to hit triangle, go back down to bookmark, and select the bookmarker that we saved. So it brings you right back to the page, guys. So now we're going to go and select this one. So we're going to write the X file back to our PS3, guys. So go ahead and hit X then hit OK and right here right here you should select the type of PS3 you have so this is a NOR this is a slim which is a NOR so you should go ahead and select the NOR so press X OK and then it brings you at this website guys so what you do from here guys you're gonna go and you're gonna select write to nor flash memory so hover over it and up top guys it mention it make sure that the flash drive is in the right in the right port like the, the correct port with the flash x file guys so let's go ahead and press right. Okay guys, so the first one that I tried writing the X file to the PS3 didn't work. So I restarted the PS3 by pressing the power button even though on the website it says um, you should not do so but I was waiting for like an hour and nothing happened so I went ahead and restart the PS3 so let's go ahead and try again uh, by hitting triangle and go down to bookmark and let's select the save bookmark okay now we're gonna try writing the the NOR chip again. Remember to select that your select NOR if you're using a NOR PS3. Hit OK. Scroll go down. And hit right to NOR flash memory.
so we got to fail again and now we got a success but the back the back of the PS3 is moving the, the wave is moving the last time it was frozen so hopefully it goes through and give us that beep Okay, perfect guys, PS3 just turned off, so we are good to go, hopefully, so let's go ahead and turn the PS3 back on. And the memory card is flashing. So I'm just going to go and press O right here. So let me go and check the version to see if anything has changed. Okay, so we're still on the same 4.82 guys so let's go ahead and remove our memory card and let's try to install the custom firmware so let me plug my USB in and over on the computer guys let's open the USB stick up and the file is still on the memory on the USB stick I don't know if it should have deleted automatically but the file is still there so let's go ahead and delete this file okay now on the mem on the USB stick we're going to create a folder all all caps ps3 inside of that folder guys we're going to create another folder and call it up date so let's go back to our so on the desktop I went ahead and download the Firefox I believe the Firefox um, 4.82 custom firmware so I'm just gonna put that over on the memory card on the USB stick Okay, and now we need to rename this one. I'm gonna rename it PS3 up that. And we're gonna copy it and put it in the update folder. Like that. And before we go any further, we're gonna go ahead and also get the QA QA toggle file Now let's copy to our USB stick. So the QA toggle file, what that does, it allows you to downgrade back your custom firmware from 4.82 back to 4.81. So let's go ahead and eject. Okay. 
Okay, now let's remove the memory, the USB stick. I keep saying memory card. I don't know why. And let's plug it back in the right port again. So right now guys, go to system update. Go to VS storage. And there it is. It found it found the Firefox custom firmware, so it okay. If this if it doesn't install this way guys, you can also go into recovery mode and install it from the recovery mode. So I'll just go ahead and accept all the terms. I'll hit X and let's see if anything happened guys. So the PS3 has now move on to the second stage of installing the custom firmware. Again guys, if you do get an uh, error in using this method, you can always go to the recovery mode and install it from there. And it says it's installing. We're at two percent. Okay, so the firmware seems like it's done installing guys. Let's see if the PS3 will reboot and hopefully we'll be in our custom firmware. Hopefully we will have our um, um, install package, our PKG package folder and all those stuff. So the PS3 is off. I don't know if you could see the light, so let me power it up again. Wow. Yep, and there you go, guys. I am on Firefox firmware now. Not sure if I'm pronouncing the name properly, but let's go to games. And there you go guys, we have the install package file. 
and we also have the app on PS3 section so let's just go ahead and go to system and let's go down and check the system information so it shows that it's version 4.82 let's go out the package file so we're going to install the, the toggle QA guys and as I said the toggle QA once you once you install Firefox and you want to go back down to like rebug 4.81 you have to run the toggle QA first and once you install it and run it the system will um, beeps and then restarts okay guys so that ends the tutorial on how to jailbreak your PS3 slim um, on 4.82 it was on 4.81 but I didn't update it until now when I was trying out the exploit so um, in my next video guys I'm going to show you guys how to download um, PS3 games for your PS3 when it's jailbroken for free and there's there's a bunch of games out there that you can get and there are people that are having trouble downloading them so I'm going to show you how to get um, free PS3 games and for for totally free and it's easy to get also guys um, you can go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe and also hit the like button when I upload this video guys and also hit the share and um, I will be doing a giveaway because I, I am at 500 subscriber and I said in I said in I think it was this video I said that I'll do a, a giveaway with some steam codes when I reach the 500 so I will be doing that on Sunday probably Sunday on Monday so guys and again um, with 3ds I am doing uh, exploit on this 3ds a soft mod so let me know in the comments as well if you guys want to see me do an exploit on the 3ds guys so guys um, thanks for watching guys and please like share and subscribe and also sh um, comment what what do you guys want me to to mod next maybe an xbox 360 do like an rgh on it so let me know in the comments guys once again guys thanks for watching guys